what's up guys i'm suman from phone scene in today's video let us take a look at five really good dell laptops that are priced between 30000 and 50000 rupees but before starting this video i have certain things to talk about this list that i have prepared number 1 Dell isn't as competitive as they used to be. So while doing my research to come up with this list, you know, I really found out that companies like Asus and Acer are doing a much better job in terms of providing great value and a great laptop in general for the price, especially under the fifty thousand or sixty thousand rupee mark. Whereas Dell, yes, they are updating their laptops, but you know, I really don't think they are putting much thought. like uh into their laptops like they do with their xps series or you know higher end series uh, laptops so that was kind of disappointing but anyways this video is for those who strictly want or who only want to buy a dell laptop so for them i think this should be fine and finally the prices change or i'll say fluctuate a lot so make sure you check the links in the description regularly for the best possible pricing because for example one day you might see the price at 50000 the next day it might be at 46000 so prices change a lot so make sure you check the links in the description and make sure you subscribe because more new videos are about to come with that said without wasting any precious time let us begin first up we have the Dell Inspiron 3480 Now this is powered by the Intel Pentium Gold 5405U. So this is a dual core processor. It has 4 gigs of RAM which is upgradable. It has a 256 gig SSD and it comes with a 14 inch HD display. Now this is one of the best affordable laptops that Dell has to offer as of right now and uh, the processor in this is definitely not the most powerful but for light task or you know for casual web browsing this should definitely do the job. Now I'm really happy that there is an SSD in this so this will make your laptop feel really snappy. Now the display here is only a HD display but at this po price point we really can't complain about that. And finally one tip please upgrade the RAM to 8 gigs for the best multitasking performance and better overall general performance. So you know it's not going to cost a lot and uh, I really recommend you to do that. Next up we have the Dell Vostro 3491. Now this is powered by the 10th gen Core i3 1005G1. It has 4 gigs of RAM which is also upgradable. It has a 256 gig SSD and comes with a 14 inch full HD display. Now this is somewhat like an upgraded version to the previous laptop and the 10th gen i3 here is miles better in terms of performance than the Pentium Gold. It even has a full HD display so viewing experience should be slightly better here. So if you could spend a little extra money I would highly suggest you to go with this. Now if you definitely have, you know, price restrictions then definitely go with the previous laptop, but if you have a little extra money to spend, I would highly recommend you to go with this cuz this is going to give an overall better performance when compared to the previous laptop which I just mentioned. Next up we have the Dell Inspiron 3593. Now this is powered by the same 10th generation i3 1005G1. It has 4 gigs of RAM which is upgradable. It has a 256 gig SSD and also a 1 terabyte hard disk and it also rocks a 15.6 inch full HD display. This laptop is a really nice offering from Dell cuz you get a good processor, you get dual storage and a bigger full HD display. But the only downside here is that you get only 4 gigs of RAM and I would highly recommend you guys to upgrade this to 8 for the best possible experience. So if you're someone who wants a laptop with a lot of storage, I think this is the one to go with because you get a super fast SSD, so Windows will definitely be snappy and you also get a terabyte of hard disk space and that is definitely going to be useful if you want to store your movies, music or any other thing in general. You need not go out and buy an external hard disk making this ideal for you. Next up we have the Dell Inspiron 3585. Now this is powered by the AMD Ryzen 2500U. It has 8 gigs of RAM, a 512 gigabyte SSD, a 15.6 inch full HD display and it runs on Windows 10. Now I would probably say that this is the best laptop in this entire list. Now if you have around 50,000 to spend and you want only a Dell laptop, I would then suggest you to go with this. Cuz you get a pretty good CPU, fast storage, 8 gigs of RAM and a bigger 15.6 inch full HD display. Now this laptop has a good mix of everything. 
And if you personally ask me like which laptop would you go in this list, I would definitely go with this because it has really good CPU, 8 gigs of RAM and has a 512 gigabyte SSD. So it is kind of uh, an ideal choice and even though it might not look too modern, in terms of performance, this will definitely deliver and uh, I think this is kind of the one for everyone here. Last up we have the Dell Inspiron 5491. Now this runs on the 10 Gen Intel i3 10110U. It has 4 gigs of RAM which is upgradable. It has a 256 gig SSD and it has a 14 inch display. Now this is a 2 in 1 laptop from Dell and this is like only for those who actually want a 2 in 1 laptop. Now this is mostly spec like the Dell Vostro 3491 but this is again a 2 in 1 laptop. Performance should be decent here but make sure you upgrade the RAM to 8 gigabytes. The display is a 14 inch display making it ideal to use in both laptop or tablet mode. Now if you really don't have a use for a 2 in 1 laptop, uh, please don't buy this. You have many other good options in this list. But if you really want a 2 in 1 laptop and and you really have a use case for it then I would suggest you to go with this because performance should be decent just make sure you upgrade the RAM to 8 gigs and the 14 inch form factor is also kind of an ideal size I think this should be a pretty good laptop and I'll definitely be on lookout for a much better deal but as of now this is the one to go with so there you have it these are the five best laptops from Dell that I could find which were priced between 30,000 and 50,000 rupees yes when compared to Acer or Asus or any other company, new companies like maybe even MI, I think uh, these definitely are not a compelling option. But if you're someone who wants a laptop only from Dell or your parents are stubborn that they want only Dell because they have good customer service and things like that, I think uh, these as of now are the best options to go with. And I'll definitely be updating this list once I see more good laptops from Dell so make sure you subscribe to see that. So as of now this is the best ones under this certain price point. I'll have the links to all these in the description below make sure you check them out and with that said thank you for watching and this here is Suman signing off once again catch you later.